Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guardian Duty. So in the last episode we managed to steal the artifact from the facility where we infiltrated into, and then we were teleported back here, but unfortunately Starborn was so badly hurt that he was out cold and had to be treated for, was it a whole two or three days or so, and during that time our base was attacked by... I don't know was it Chokoroth or someone else, but regardless, this base was attacked by someone and our captain or general was the only survivor. Well actually no, there's, a, there's other survivor as well. Our tech girl, Rack Rat or Rackdoll, whatever her name, name was. So she managed to actually open the portal to the past by using the time machine that they were working on and what we need, needed the artifact for. So now if I'm not mistaken, she should be 1000 years in the past when Princess Teramir was about to be sacrificed, and we are supposed to go and follow her there, so we can stop the sacrifice. So yeah, without further ado, let's do exactly that. So, General is uh, alright, right? She's out cold. Okay, she's just out cold. She just needs some rest. Okay, that's completely understandable. So, let's go to the lower levels, now that we should have access to everything. The access lift should be working now. Indeed it should. Because the captain or general just gave us the a gave us access to this entire, well, uh, I guess this is a ship. So to this entire ship, we have access to everything. Let's do this. Yep. Let's do this, and there it is, the artifact that we stole. Whoa! Is it working? Seems like it. Bearing set sixty-four clicks on. Warp degree nine, quadrant zero nine. Uh, okay. In English, please. Yeah, Apologies. please. My notes have been stored somewhat carelessly. The appropriate indexing has yet to be completed. Quite unusual. Sounds like someone was in a rush. Yeah, to say the, re Additional say the least. Contextual data located. Space-time schematics retrieved from three external sources. Mineral source from origin approximately 972 years prior. I believe the device has been appropriately configured for your intended travel, agent. Well, that's perfect. Rugrat, you genius. Rugrat, that was the Control, name. tell me, has the machine been used? Did she get through? Accessing the vent log. The most recent entry suggests that a user, Rugrat, Access the terminal just 17 hours prior to your request. I'll be damned. Was it successful? Data suggests organic matter was successfully dematerialized. However, our mere existence would suggest something has haunted mission success. There's still hope. How do I get this thing fired up? Searching. No results found regarding the operation of the zero point warp device. Well, there is a note there. Right. I'll figure it out. Yeah, so there is this note here from Rugrat, no doubt. There's a note here. Looks like Rugrat's handwriting. Okay, boss, if you're reading this, then I must have screwed up. Either I'm lost in the void of uh, space time or stuck in the past or dead. The rig's been calibrated, so she's ready to roll if you wanna come save me. P.S. You still owe me a beer. Two beers. Okay. Fair enough. So... Elevator control, okay. Speaker. Teleporter. So we just... I don't know, touch it and see if it works. So much power. Damn it. I sure hope this works. Yeah. You and me both, buddy. So, where, where do we go? So much power, damn it. I sure hope this works. Hmm, we don't have any items on us. So, uh... So much power, damn it. I don't know, do we talk to the... To the... This ship's AI. I can't reach it. That speaker is linked up to the central AI. Yeah, I thought so. I thought if you could, I don't know, talk to it and ask ask it to activate this thing or something. Oh, terminal. I sure hope this works. 
Hmm, okay. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Wait, it wasn't? That doesn't sound good. Oh. Uh, where the hell am I? Looks like we're in space. Time and space. Space bar. What is this place? Is that the... Is that the bar from the... Drunken Monk uh, Tavern? From Wrinklewood. Okay, we got two doors here that doesn't seem to be leading anywhere, but... I bet they lead us to a new dimension or something. Oh hey, this looks like Wrinklewood, alright. Or whatever is left of it. Okay, let's just lead us back here. Okay, I guess we go this way. And just continue further. Oh hey, it's the... It's Astral Pony. <laughs> okay. A strange creature floats in the void. A strange creature. Okay. I guess we can't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Then to the snowy area. Hmm. A plate. Holy smoke. I think it worked. Yeah, it sure looks like it. This must be it. Walls of stone cast with gold. It's that same cursed symbol. Hold it right there. Oh, hey, Tondi. Step closer and I'll. Well, I'll be damned. Don't move a muscle. Hey, wait. That's exactly what I was gonna say. You sure don't look like the type to take over the world. Looks can be deceiving, I guess. Will you stop talking over me? I'm here to stop you, once and for all. Tell me what you did with the princess. Princess? I know it's you that took her. Wait, hold on. I think we're on the same side here. Are you the one they call the Tombert? Tombert Ruskin? That's me, all right. You've heard I'm coming for you, I see. Look, this is gonna sound crazy. I don't expect you to believe me firsthand, but... Well, I'm from the distant future. I've traveled back through the fabric of space-time to save your dear princess from the hand of an unfathomable evil. There is so much at stake yet, so little time to explain. This story does not bode well for your people. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Hold on. If you can travel through time, then what took you so long, eh? I've been through hell and back to get here. <laughs> what do you do? Just jump through some magic portal, no doubt? Why yeah. did you go back before he nicked our princess, eh? Listen, kid. I've seen eye to eye with the devil. How dare you question my sacrifice? There was an issue with the teleporter. Our station was attacked and I, I couldn't save them. Alright, alright, I get it. We've both had a rough ride. All I'm saying is you better not steal credit for this. <laughs> this is my chance to prove to the king that I'm more than just a guard. I have no interest in fortune, fame, or glory. I just need to stop him before it's too late. Help me get this door open, would you? You well, know, that should be easy. I have the weirdest feeling. It's like I've been here before. This is gonna sound bonkers, but we need that goat. Hmm. Oh, I I know that. Okay, so now we are... Now we're just controlling Tondi again. Okay. So... What do you have? The same stuff. Okay. Now, should we get rid of that you dagger now? Because that's, that's the sacrificial dagger that the... <laughs> maid's apprentice needs to do the sacrifice. <laughs> I think he likes me. Okay, we got this goat as, uh, goat as our friend once again. So we need. So should we get rid of this dagger or? Well, it's not like either of these two know that this fancy dagger is used for the sacrifice. Okay, so go there. Come here, fella. Yeah, you stay there. I go here and then. Starborn, you go there. Okay, and then we just go in. Sheesh, sure is hot in here. Don't let your guard down. The fate of the world rests in those hot, clammy hands. Okay, so... 
we just go to Princess Terramir. Or Terramin. I suppose. Oh. We have a little time. Oh, I. Uh, sorry. I. I was. I was too hasty there. And skipped some of the dialogue. Okay. Uh, just wondering who should be the one to go first. Well, I think that I think that uh, Starborn can deal with the wizard better than Tonde could. But then again, he doesn't have a gun, and we have the we have a dagger. Well, screw it. I don't know. Find a way to save her. Well, go there and uh, cut her loose. Come on, come on. You'll need some help with that. Hold on. The rope's not even tied. Turn mm. that. Quick, he's coming. Stall him. Uh, uh, don't mind me. Hey, back off! Oh dear, you're really going for it, aren't you? Throw over your shoulder, push me aside, and walk right out of here like a hero. Yeah, that was don't the plan. Any closer. Four. Okay, now. Oh. oh. Well, so much from that. I guess we are screwed. And history is repeating itself. Literally. Oh, if only we had a gun. Who is that guy, anyway? Actually, I don't really care. You're all the same. You take one look at me, you fit. Oh, pasty guy with eyeliner. Wears a cloak black as death. Clearly up to no good. Well, you are up to no ah, good. You know I have big plans for my eternal reign of immortality. Just you wait. The lambs will be much better off for it. Oh, if only you knew. Okay, so did I screw up here? How exactly did you two get here? Wait, 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 wait. It's that. Yes, it's the same damn tackle that you need. Oh my god. Do you have any idea how long I've been looking for this? Well, that makes things a lot easier. Time to get started, I guess. I still can't believe you brought me the sacrificial dagger. Just about the only thing you could have done to make this situation worse. Oh wait, he's not dead. Starborn is not dead yet. It's even got the scissor right on the hill. It's just like the book. I just can't do anything yet. Oh. Someone is calling us. Rugrat, I thought I'd lost you. Where are you? Hey, cowboy. Rock, Where are you? I can't get close to him. He's too strong. Where exactly are you? <laughs> hmm? I won't tell anyone if you close your Is eyes. she the princess? Ah, so that's why she wasn't tied up. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. I thought she replaced the princess there for a moment. I still can't do anything. Oh, and he just fell to the lava. Did she? Did she give him a middle finger? I think she did. Princess. Ah, oh, look at that. What a happy ending. You had me worried for a moment there. <laughs> that was nothing. Are you okay? I am now your clever girl. You got here. This whole setup was her idea. Oh. If it wasn't for you finding me, I fear things might have gone far worse. That's what we're here for. Speaking of which, you feel that, boss? The tingling. I, I think that means we did it. How okay. exactly are we gonna get back? I think we're already leaving. Ah, looks like it. Willer, that was weird. You were telling me. Lucky you showed up, though. I really didn't do much. Unless you count the flailing my legs and screaming for mercy. It's not what you did here, it's what you did after. Don't you see? Huh? Agent Rugrat told me everything. Oh yeah. You never gave up, even after all this, after losing everything. If it wasn't for those notes and that boundless will to survive. What about my notes? 
it's your scribbles that saved us all. The Chronicles of Tombert. You built quite a reputation. Your adventures, your decade-long war against the Shogoroth, those stories went down in history, Tombert. They weren't forgotten. Decade long? Because of you, those two were able to find us. Mm -hmm. This is all a bit mental. Why did yeah, they I save bet. you so badly? I mean, aside from the obvious, of course. It wasn't me that needed saving. They needed to kill him. That man went on to do terrible, awful things, Tombert. But you were there, every step of the way, fighting for good. The events that led to this point made you, Tombert. Nobody can take that away from you. I think someone's due a promotion. How yeah, to say the least. A small promotion, it won't you cut it. What? I kind of like it. Come here. Okay, so... He's gonna be knighted. I think. Oh, what a happy ending, isn't it? And 1,000 years later. And everyone lived happily ever after. Yeah, that's what I said. End. Miss, Miss, tell us a bit about the giant worm again. Did Tomba and the princess get married and have babies? Oh, I what bet. What about the space people? All right, class, there will be plenty of time for questions later. First, it's time to take a look at your own work assignment for the week. Aww, boring. Oh, you know those what? two are there. The hero in that tale sure sounds a lot like you. What, me? <laughs> Wouldn't catch me messing around with the fabric of time and space. Imagine the repercussions. Hell, I can barely manage the kids' breakfast. Intergalactic Wait, have they... Special Agent travels through time to save the world. Got a good ring to it, don't you think? Have they lost agent the memories of that? Starborn. <laughs> Estate Agent, honey. I think they have lost their memories. Oh, is that the end? Having defeated the mysterious cloaked kidnapper just moments before someone in the uh, Shockeroth, Tonbird, Agent Starborn, Rockrat, and God damn it, don't give me enough time to read. With their true fate restored and timeline switched, Starborn, Rockrat, and the rest of the Guardians existed to live a peaceful, joyous life. And that's nice. The pain they once suffered became nothing more than a distant memory. With strength and friendship, we can overcome the evils of this world, and together we can craft a better future. Thank you for playing Guard Duty. I hope we were able to bring a little joy to your world too. Well, you certainly did. Thank you for making this game. Be like Tonbert. Never give up and fight for those you love. That's your good advice. And that was Guard Duty, folks. A lot shorter game than I expected. Not that I mind. A game by Nathan Hamley. Very good game, Mr. Hamley. Programming and assistant design by Andy Saunders. Sorry, I didn't read it in time. All of that made by Nathan Hamley. He's one badass dude. Music by Richard S. Promo poster by Julian Seifert. Exit a mothership. Okay. Oh, she was the voice actor of the mothership, I think. Nathan Hamley was also the was Agent Starborn, okay. <laughs> Cheapskate. Tom Harris as Knuckles, Barrick, Gertrude, Hendrick, Hidden Guard 2, uh, Okay, and Kate Saunders White was Princess Theramin. Theramin Card Merchant, Deadwood's Knight, a child. Cy Ellis as Hobbs, Merrick. Who was Merrick? I forgot. Sally Beaumont as Sam, Librarian, General, Guardians of New Haven. Erica Sanderson as Crystal, Lauren, Agent Rockrat. Who was Crystal? Todd Chips as Samson. I don't, re I don't remember the names of every character, every character in this game, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I'm gonna give my uh, brief 
uh, thoughts on the game once uh, we are done with the credits here. And a huge thank you to all, all of you Kickstarter backers. Oh, this was a Kickstarter game. I did not, I did not actually... Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think I knew that. At least I don't think I mentioned that in the very first episode. So this was a Kickstarter game. Okay, that's great. Another successful Kickstarter game. It's always, uh, it's always great to see those. Because people tend to remember the failures more than the successes. That's one of the reasons why not many games are being funded on Kickstarter anymore these days. Only like handful get funded. And most of them are not even like that huge successes like say Thimbleweed Park as far as adventure games go. These credits are a tad bit longer than I expected them to be. In memory of Rosemary and Brian Hamlin. Oh, so two people passed away and this was done in their memory. That was wild! Thanks for playing. Hmm. Don't yeah. forget to follow us for all the news on top secret game projects. I've been uh -huh. told we have a website. Whatever that is. Uh, sickchicken.com. Anyway, see ya! Okay, I think I should check that one out once I'm done recording this. So, sickchicken.com. Okay, that's that should be quite easy to remember. Okay, now, my brief thoughts on the game here. So, I really liked Guard Duty. It was a nice uh, short game. Again, shorter than I expected, but I don't mind it too much. There's really two things that stuck out to me. Uh, one is the puzzle design. I really enjoyed uh, some of the puzzles in this game. Like, like, for example, the one where we had to get the substitute for Gertrude for her to kiss and and we had to get that frog or toad from the farm and make her uh, kiss that. I like that puzzle simply because it was not that obvious to do at first glance. I was not thinking about uh, the toad at first and when I did get the idea that wait maybe I'm supposed to get her the toad then getting the toad was not that obvious to uh, catch either. And the other one that I liked was 
Wait, what, what was the second what was the second one that, that I that I had in mind? Damn it, I forgot. I forgot what the other puzzle was. Oh yeah, the second puzzle was the spider. The one where we had to lure the spider all the way from the other side of the forest, all the way down where the worm was. That was also very clever, and I really like that. I really like puzzles that are not that obvious. Of course there were some very obvious and uh, quote-unquote easy puzzles in this game, but there were a handful that, that I really enjoyed because they were not that uh, easy to figure out. And because of that, it felt really good when I when I came up with the solution by myself. So, so in that regard, I, I really like the puzzle design in this game. And the, the pixel art is, of course, very gorgeous, very cartoony. And I was also surprised at how dark this game uh, became after we got out of the castle and then we went to the future and stuff. That was surprisingly dark, and I, and I really liked that. So this was not some kind of a very cutesy uh, game from start to finish, which I was honestly expecting. But it wasn't. In this, in this game was rather dark as well, and... I was taken by that. That took me by surprise, and uh, that's why I also like this game. It had some surprises in there. Now, I don't really have any too big complaints. At least I can't come up with anything. Maybe the fact that the game was short, maybe that's something that, that some people would consider as a, as a small flaw. But I honestly uh, don't mind it. It was a neat, neat story. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add at this point. At least I can't come up with anything else to say right now. Anyway, I really liked Guard Duty, and I'm eagerly waiting to see that what else Sick Chicken is planning to make and release next in the future. But I'm gonna end this Let's Play here, so thank you for watching my blind playthrough of Guard Duty, and see you next time in a new adventure.